So let's draw out a collection of cells, let's say it's some tissue, and just look at their internal environment and compare it to their external environment. So here we have, let's say, a region of some tissue, and next, next to that tissue, we typically have some blood vessels, and inside those vessels, a collection of cells, for example, including red blood cells, among other things. Each of the spaces you see in this video though, so basically all of the black space, contains an aqueous fluid or a watery solution with solute particles dissolved in it. You are basically a soup, a watery soup with a bunch of solute particles dissolved. So before we think about how your body is affected by changes in osmolarity and tonicity, I just wanted to introduce you to each of these different fluid-filled regions or compartments, as we'll be referring to these a lot in coming videos. So first up, let's look at the space on the inside of the cell, also known as the ICF, which is short for intracellular fluid. So this is just a solution on the inside of your cells and it accounts for the vast majority of the fluid inside your body. If you were to take all of the fluid and all of the cells and add it up, it would be 28 liters worth of fluid. That's a lot. The main solutes in this solution tend to be things like potassium and a variety of different proteins. So when you think of the solution on the inside of your cells, think of potassium. Next, if we look at the space on the outside of the cells, this is known as the extracellular fluid, or ECF for short. We first have some fluid that surrounds the cells of your tissues, but it's not inside your blood vessels. So it's kind of in between or within your tissues. This fluid is known as the interstitial fluid. Interstitial literally means between or interstitial, which is kind of your tissue space. This ECF, the interstitial ECF, is made of about 10.5 liters worth of fluid and tends to be high in things like sodium and chloride ions. So another part of the ECF is the fluid inside blood vessels, but it's not inside any of the cells in that blood vessel and this is known as the plasma. So this means that the ECF is basically divided into two different fluid compartments. One, the fluid inside the blood vessels, and two, the fluid in the interstitium, or the interstitial fluid. The plasma is typically more or less about 3.5 liters worth of fluid, and also tends to be high in things like sodium and chloride. For our purposes, what will be really important is to remember that certain parts of the body have a high concentration or a low concentration of certain ions. So for example, the ICF tends to have a very high concentration of potassium, whereas the ECF tends to have a high concentration of things like sodium and chloride. Another thing to keep in mind is that the normal osmolarity throughout the body tends to be around 0.3. So the concentration of the ECF, pretty standard, is 0.3 osmolarity, and it tends to match the concentration in the ICF, which is also around 0.3. And this is also true for the concentration inside the plasma. So this is what a normal internal environment should look like. There is equal concentration throughout the ICF, the ECF. Inside cells you have a high concentration of potassium compared to the outside which has a high concentration of sodium and chloride. And one important thing that our bodies need to do is try to keep our internal environment always always looking just like this. 